Each summer, Genesis at Brandeis University welcomes teenagers from diverse backgrounds to learn more about subjects like world religion or journalism, with a Jewish twist. That may sound a bit like school, but it's not. Really. Just ask Indiana participant Sarah Burday sachs I thought people here would be just really passionate about what they believed in and really ready to teach and learn. And that's the kind of environment I wanted to be in for a month in the summer. Story bit like Sarah's not alone. 62 students from across the U.S., as well as Canada, Spain, and Israel, came to Genesis this summer. And this year there was a new group added to the international mix. Thanks to a generous grant from the Genesis Philanthropy Group, the program was able to provide scholarships to 10 students from Russia and Russian-speaking homes here in America. Moscow resident Polina Fievskaya is one of them. And when I'm in Russia, I'm not feeling proud about my country like this, but when I'm as a foreigner somewhere, I'm feeling good that I'm from Russia because it's very interesting for another. It's very different from America and Israel. And um, I'm very excited just to, to speak about it. Outside of the classroom, Genesis director Bradley Solmson says the Russian teens are able to provide other participants with a new perspective on being Jewish. And it was very clear right away that they were going to bring a lot to the program. They were going to be able to teach their peers what it means to um, live a Jewish life in a very different place. What's, what's the values that Judaism brings to them? Why do they practice Judaism? Um, what does their Jewish culture look like? What is the connection between Russian civilization, Russian culture, and Judaism? Because it produces lots of different things. And vice versa, the American kids were going to be able to teach them and the Israeli kids what it means to be Jewish from a whole different perspective. For Israeli Shai Zaid, a big part of his Genesis experience has been getting more in touch with his Jewish roots. I've never been to any egalitarian services. So uh, last Shabbat, I went to the, the, the egalitarian service. It was just great. It was an excellent experience. Shabbat evening, we sat down and sang Zmirot for up until 3 o'clock, I think it was uh, a.m. It was just great. Everything in Hebrew, they all know Hebrew in some sort of way. We're trying to explore differences between the American Judaism and the Israeli types of Judaism. Let's go. Sarah says she's going to recommend Genesis to her friends back home in Indiana, even if the international flavor of the program can cause some complications when it's time to celebrate. It was this one girl's birthday a couple days ago, and so of course we sang her happy birthday at dinner, I think, and we sang it in English, and then we sang it in Hebrew, two different tunes, and then we sang it in Spanish, and then a girl from Canada got up and sang it in French, and then someone sang it in Portuguese, and then someone sang it in an Ethiopian language, and then we tried to sing it in Yiddish. And there was just so many different languages being sung happy birthday to. And for me, that's a moment I will definitely remember because people just kept jumping up and like, oh, no, I know a language. I know language. And I think that really is a good example of what life at Genesis is like. If you'd like to be a part of Genesis next summer or just want to find out more about the program, go to brandeis.edu slash Genesis. Max Perlstein, Brandeis Now.